most of us are pretty used to working on, you know, rather cool toys all the time. And but you very seldom anyone ever gets to work on a mosquito, so it's it's pretty much a prestige job. They don't get any rarer, and it'd be a great thrill to see this actually fly. This whole company is all about making airplanes fly. We don't do static displays or anything else. We make stuff fly. This is what airplanes are supposed to do. During the Second World War, the Mosquito airplane was revolutionary. It became one of the most adaptable, efficient, versatile, and adored aircraft of its era. Robust, very fast. Born in wartime. Built of wood. They didn't need to carry any armament. They could just run away from the enemy fighters. Could deliver one quite a punch. Very innovative in its construction design. This one was just right and still is. The fact that it was a wooden airplane and that there's so few of them left, um, even as static displays, that it makes it a special airplane. No mosquito has flown anywhere in the world for nearly two decades. The race to get this plane airborne will be challenging as other builders compete for the few remaining authentic parts and the international prestige. This one is built from an original fuselage. This, this wood is the wood that was in the aircraft, mostly the wood that was in the aircraft. This one will have a, a, a little bit different pedigree. It will be in a, an original. There's the tank straps. Oh, cool. And it doesn't give anywhere where they go. At least they're simple. Yeah. There's no illustrated parts book for this aircraft. It's, we've got a parts book, but it just lists the parts. It doesn't uh, show you all the ramifications of where they go in that. What we're looking for now is there's apparently rubber gasket material that goes in here and along the bottom, which we don't have. People that are involved in the Mosquito keep a fairly tight network, and so there's a lot of parts trading that goes on. Hey, good afternoon. Mike Ingram from Victoria Air Maintenance calling. Yeah, I'm just trying to track down some mosquito parts right now. We've heard a rumor that a gentleman in the United States has some brake units that we need. So our, our next uh, mission is to try and make contact. And then hopefully we have something that he would want. <laughs> and if he does, maybe we can make a trade. The end result for us will be that this will be a flying mosquito. All of our projects end up in the air. So we're excited to see one back in the air again.